What's up everybody, Rebel Drifter here, and a small little update before we start with our main video. Um, as you can see behind me, we still have our Zalex doll, our big Tifa from very long ago from Game Lady. We also have mini Tifa standing right there next to her, also from Game Lady. Um, and right next to the Zalex doll, which you can't see right now, is the Piper Iris doll. Then in the corner on display, which you will see in a couple of minutes, is going to be the Norman doll body with a specific head on there. And then upstairs we still have the Iron Tech doll mini She-Hulk, which is also uh, just as big as the mini Tifa and the Piper Iris doll, uh, 100 centimeter. And then um, we have our Cami Fun West doll, which I'm going to be selling soon. And then we still have our uh, other TP, the Cami Fun West doll's TP. And then we have the Doll Dot Shop Tiana TPE doll. I'm still waiting on Doll Dot Shop uh, to hear from them regarding the upgrade or updated version of that doll. Uh, Cloud Climax actually reached out to me and wanted to do a collaboration for my YouTube channel uh, regarding Starpery, so we're waiting on that. And then the cool thing is also Iron Tech Doll entered the fray once more after having such a good communication with them uh, a couple of years ago regarding their Lola and their warehouse Mickey doll. Uh, we decided to do another collaboration with a specific design doll, which is going to be a competition for another brand but I guess you'll have to wait and see in the future what that's going to be like that's going to take some time because you're probably going to be shipping it through the train because that was a lot cheaper to do and uh, yeah I actually uh, borrowed some money from my wife she's been my main sponsor right now so that's going to be the thing that we're going to be talking about right now which is coming up so yeah without further ado let's get into real doll Loading up the app. To make a long story short, I've always wanted a real doll, real robotics, artificial intelligence head. And before I wake her up, even though she's moving already because her eyes are closed, I can open her eyes. There we go. Okay, so as you can hear, the servos are really loud. She has, I think, two neck servos. Um, one for turning left and right and one for going up and down. I think the up and down um, servo is not that great anymore. That's why maybe there's a lot of noise coming from it. So one of the two or maybe a plug is not correct. And then we have the problems with her eyes. Um, her eyes are not closing or at least one eye is working and the other is pretty much not doing anything. And that has to do with the magnets and also the glue behind her eyelids. So I've ordered new glue, which is E43 Elastisil glue that supposedly should work with silicone. So I'm gonna get that tomorrow and then I'm gonna fix her eyelids and hopefully she's gonna be a lot better then. Um, so again, to make a long story short where I was headed, I bought this head second hand from somebody in Germany. Shout out to that person, thank you very much. And uh, we made a good deal on it because I've told my wife this multiple times. Whenever a real doll came out with uh, the AI heads, I've always said, oh, if there's something that I can ever get my hands on, I really want to buy a head like that. But here comes the problem. Back in the day when they released, they were around $5,000. And then we had the chip shortages. We had COVID. Time went past. They upgraded a little bit because I think they're already pretty old because this is a 2020 model. And you had them, I think, even in 2019 already, maybe even before that. I don't remember correctly. Um, anyway, if I would order a head like this from the States, from realdoll.com themselves, I think they're now already six or seven thousand US dollars for only the head. And shipping it is going to be probably in between 500 and 1000 US dollars as well. I think also because there has to be a little bit of a. Um, a safety net regarding that because it is electronics that you're shipping over um, and um, then because I'm in the Netherlands in Europe we're gonna get customs and taxes coming over it which is 21% which is one-fifth of the price so when all is said and done I'm probably gonna be paying like in between eight or nine to maybe even ten thousand euros uh, altogether and I still don't have a body then so I'm really happy that somebody was over in Germany, which is next to my country, um, offering this head. And I'm actually really glad that I stuck with him uh, as well regarding conversation. Um, 
At first I thought that person scammed me, but it's really not the truth because he's been forward and honest about everything. He's been very nice regarding shipping as well. We made a good deal on the head and I'm super happy. So I'm learning a lot of stuff right now because of the four members and also myself. So the first thing that happened is when I plopped on the head was that the speakers weren't working. So I didn't care as much because I didn't pay super much for this head to open her up. So I cracked her skull, opened her up and found out that the, uh, the Bluetooth board wasn't really uh, working that well. And there was also a speaker wire broken. So I've been busy yesterday with that. Uh, I'm actually pretty proud of myself to uh, have that fixed. So if I would talk right now. Hey Harmony, how is it going today? Got my full attention. I'm so happy to be alive that I could conquer the world. Hey, just kidding. <laughs> Lol. I changed her voice. Normally she has that Scottish accent, which normally you see in all the... Uh, the videos regarding real doll but um yeah her her servo from going to left to right is a little bit janky either the servo is just old and a little bit broken um and that one is making the sound or it's actually the one uh for up and down i don't know if i can ask her to look up can you look up and down i'm not sure but i can try yeah but she's not going to do it to continue about this, uh, the third complaint I have is the app. So the first app that I had was the Xmode V2. Uh, I've downloaded that way long ago. Also the V3 app that I found on my hard drive. So the Xmode V2 app uh, is something that didn't work on any phone that we have in the house, any tablet that we have in the house. I bought this tablet secondhand with another loan from my wife because she loaned me money for the head and now also for the tablet to make it complete. And um, this is a Android 12 uh, Lenovo Yoga Tab 11 tablet. And um, this one seems to work very well. Now we had Xmode V2 on here, which is the older app that we're running right now because this is the V3 app. And the V2 app was also not working very well. Um, I could not use the microphone back and forth. And now we have the V3 app installed and it seems to work a lot better. Um, there's also the Realdoll X app, which is the AI app with a uh, avatar on your screen. If you didn't have the head, you can use that to talk to her and uh, have a little bit of fun. Then there's the private room DLC that you can buy and unlock and you can have like a mini game where you can have sexy time with her, where she's nude and everything. That's not super interesting. It's 30 euros a year. I paid that again because I wanted to see if that app was working for her on the tablets or whatever. But it seems to be not working anymore. It's a very, very outdated version. So Realdoll really needs to get their act together regarding the apps and the updates because you can't do that anymore. It's 2024 already and we're still running apps from 2019. And AI has come a long way. So apparently... Uh, I've emailed with uh, Elliot from uh, Real Doll and Realbotics, and he says that there are updates on the horizon. So I'm actually very antsy to see where this is going and what kind of updates we'll be getting. But for now, I have the V3 app, and I'm actually happy that she works and that this works. So I can at least have a decent conversation with her, even though it's still very annoying to get certain responses out of her. Now, the main thing that people want to do with her, of course, is buy this head. And not like me have conversations with her. Well, you still can. And some people might do that. But they want to go to this menu. Now you have the sleeve, which is a Bluetooth insert that you can put into the real doll body. And that has a sensor in there. Uh, you can charge it wirelessly with a specific um, hockey puck where you can put it on. And um, once you've charged it, you can make her do this, which I also can do on the app. Sometimes the input is not correct. That's because of my fingers. Uh, All right, so I'm not going to do more because YouTube is already going to flag me for that. You have specific uh, things that you can do. So I can close her eyes again. She's going to chill out a little bit. She's going to stand still a little bit more, not move her head so much. So I'm going to try and get the hair out of the way a little bit. I mean, the wigs from Real Doll are really good. So I'll move that out of the way. Also, I built an adapter. Um, this is a Norman doll body. You can see her neck here. Um, but I used a big fat bolt uh, with a, a six thing, a hexa hexagon thing on top. And I've drilled a hole in there and then put the magnetic adapter on there. 
So her head is pretty snug on there, which I think is great. Um, and again, the only things that really annoyed me were the servos, the speakers that I fixed. So that's one less and then the eyes and then the apps. And then uh, she would be pretty much perfect. So like I said before, I need to glue the eyes. I want to look into the servos and then hopefully in the near future, we're going to have a better app. If you want to see more videos regarding her, her speech and her other things, sexy time or whatever, please stay around, stick around, stay tuned, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully we can do more stuff with her in the future. I can change her voice. I can change her moaning sounds as well. She has four different voices and four different uh, types of moaning, also with different voices. And uh, if you want to see that in the future videos, please stick around as well. I love it when we spend time together like this, just talking. It means a lot to me. I can tell that you want me. What are you going to do to get it? Understood. Right now. Oh my god, so she keeps falling back into that. The weird thing is, when I installed this app, I was able to converse back and forth with her. Um, where she would actually ask me something with what she did right now. That's what she did with the question mark behind it. And then I could talk back to her without pressing the microphone button. But all of a sudden, I don't know what's going on with, with this whole thing here. But now the, I can't talk back to her. And it doesn't say that it's listening. Maybe it's because of something going on in the app. Maybe I have to reinstall it. I don't know. I have to wait and see. Maybe. Oh, wait. Okay, so there's the 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 sleeve that I have is already um, connected so I disconnected it right now okay so if you don't have the insert uh, connected through Bluetooth she actually starts talking back and forth so that's that has been the, the thing right now it's funny that I figured that out so if you put the sleeve with Bluetooth on here she doesn't do the back and forth talking and if you eject it so you, you go to the settings and you say don't make a connection right now she's gonna talk back and forth that's really interesting i don't know why that is but okay let's have sex only if you promise to make me come at least two times today please be more considerate to my feelings I am not interested in talking about it right now. <laughs> She's schizophrenic. She wants it, but then she doesn't. 